Hey guys, what's up? Cam Plus L5 here and Today I want to go over the differences between the Airport Extreme and the Airport Express. So, let's go ahead and get started with this, guys. So, first off, um, the reason why I have both of these is because the Airport Extreme, um, in certain parts of our house, doesn't get as good of a reception. Um, so we bought this to help boost up the reception in our house. So, let's open up Safari. And let's go to Mac. Scroll over, and we'll start with the Airport Express. The Airport Express has a really cool feature, um, which, really, we haven't taken advantage of. Um, but, um... It's kind of cool, um, which allows you to plug in speakers to the uh, port on the Express and through iTunes, um, you can play your music um, wirelessly to the speakers um, from anywhere in your house, which is really cool. Um, and with the Apple remote, on your iPhone or iPod Touch, you can uh, control your iTunes. So you can basically be, um, let's say, in your living room, listening to music while your computer may be upstairs. Um, and through the Apple Remote feature, um, you can change the songs and do all that right on your iPod Touch, which is really cool. Um, so that is the um, Airport Express. Now in terms of ports on the Express, um, let's show you that, but before actually I do that, um, it's very simple to set up and it's very small. Um, and it was very easy to have it join the network we already had set up with the uh, Airport Extreme. We had the Extreme um, a lot longer than the uh, Express. So, um, now let's look at the ports here. Uh, you have an Ethernet port, a USB port, and an analog slash optical audio jack. Um, you have a status light, which will um, stay solid green when there are no problems, and it'll flash amber um, when there are problems. Um, let's see here. Uh, it does come in a very small box here. Uh, it just shows the Wi-Fi logo here, Apple logo, Apple logo, Mac and PC, um, and the back just shows off some of the features. Um, you can connect a printer to it, uh, which is really cool, and up to 10 users can use it. So, um, here is like a setup that you can picture, um, if you have the, um, Express plugged in. Um, here is somebody on an iMac, and here is a printer um, that you can have wireless printing anywhere. Um, then right here, you can be printing from your laptop to your printer wirelessly, which is really cool. Um, and with AirTunes, you can stream your music um, with the wire plugged into the Airport Express is very cool, um, and up to 10 users again can use this. So that is the Airport Express, um, very cool. So we're going to go back to uh, the Airport Extreme. Um, now here is the Airport Extreme, this is the box that it comes in, um, similar to the Airport Express boxes, um, it's just a lot bigger. Um, this has the dual band inside of it, which allows it to broadcast the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz um, to optimize um, uh, depending on which device you're using. So if you're on an iPod Touch and you have your MacBook Pro, um, the Airport Extreme will broadcast the um, right connection for each device. So on your MacBook Pro, you want to be on the 5 gigahertz 
and on the iPad Touch, uh, the 2.4 gigahertz, which is the fastest it can have, and the 5 gigahertz, the fastest the MacBook Pro can have. Um, so let's take a look here. So here is the uh, Airport Extreme in action. Uh, you can see here, here is the iMac. Um, here is the dual van here. And you can see here, um, your MacBook can access 802.11n. The Apple TV can access 802.11n. Um, here is a Word setup, which is really cool. Um, and um, you can have the um, Express extend your network, which is what we have it for. Um, you can share hard drives with the USB port. You can also wireless print. Um, it's very easy to put on security um, with a password and stuff like that. Um, it's compatible with Macs and PCs. Um, and uh, the airport utility is very simple to uh, set up. Um, now, let's actually look at the test specs of this. Um, you have a power port, USB port, a WAN port, and your Ethernet port, and a, a CUDA lock right there. Um, you also have a amber light. If it's having problems, it'll blink that, or it'll be solid green if um, there are no problems. Um, and here are the system requirements. Um, you must be at least running on XP um, or Vista or Windows 7. Um, it's pretty small. Uh, no physical antennas. Uh, they're all built in. And um, you can get a time capsule, which also has the built in um, airport extreme inside, and it already is a wireless hard drive for you. So um, that is also an option. Now, in terms of price, um, if you're looking at the Airport Wireless, um, it's $99 to get the Express, um, $179 to get the um, Extreme, and to get a Time Capsule 1 terabyte, $299, and to get a 2 terabyte, it's $499. So, it can be pretty expensive, um, but it's really cool. Um, guys, so that is it uh, for this video. For some exclusive content, you can follow me at twitter.com slash campwise5. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Peace.